Hello friends, today in this video I will be showing you how to make a simple metal detector. So this detector work on a simple property known as inductance. So let's have a test. I am powering it with a USB cable you can see it here. As you can see on powering it makes a very unpleasant noise. But in placing some of these metal objects on the coil should change the sound of the speaker. As you can see, there is a little change in the sound. So, in this way, our metal detector is going to work. So, before going to detail concerning the wiring, first let's have a look at the circuit. The circuit looks something like this. It consists of a 555 timer, which also called as any 555. Here is your resistor, capacitor, coil, also some two capacitors and a speaker. This circuit works under voltages from 5 to 12 volts. Now the pass made for this builder, a breadboard, 1000 US capacitor, a triple five timer IC which looks something like this, a 447K resistor, 1 1 UF micro Ferret capacitor and 4.7 microfarad capacitor. Also, with this, you also need a speaker, small speaker, or any speaker will be best. Some jumpers and a coil. So, this coil is made from a thin copper wire which I found inside an old TV in such a shape. And this coil contains at least 200 to 300 tons. So, let's get started with the build. So before going into detail and building the circuit, first I want to say is this is going to be our positive rail of the breadboard and this is going to be our negative rail of the breadboard. Now place your any 55 IC on the breadboard and connect pin first to the negative rail and connect pin 6 and pin 2 with each other. Now connect pin 4, One, 4 and pin 8 of the IC to the positive rail. Connect 47K register between pin 2 and pin 3 of the bread of the IC. As you can see. Now only we are left with some capacitor and coil. So in order to make the connection more easier, place one year capacitor. Place all the capacitor in such a way. So that the positive end is on the left side. Now as you can see this is 1 year capacitor, this is 4.7 years and this is 1000 year capacitor. Now connect pin 2 of the IC to the positive side of the capacitor and then connect the negative side of the capacitor to the negative side of the breadboard. For, uh, positive side of the 4.7 gear capacitor to the pin 2 of the IC. This is going to be messy but we have to handle it. Now we need a coil. This coil is made out of thin enamel copper wire also known as magnet wire or insulated copper wire. It has 200 to 300 tons of wire. Uh, now connect one end of the wire from the coil to the positive side or negative side of the 4.7 gear capacitor and other end to the third pin of the IC. One thing you have to remember, the copper wire with, uh, copper wire consists of an enamel coating which means that before using it, you need to remove the coating. You can do this by uh, sandpaper or by directly burning some amount of wire. I will show you in some in the next moment. Of the IC. And here we are done. 
Nah, so itu di senapan itu. Nah, itu stand power. So, it's for powering. I'm going to use this USB cable. As you can see, the red one is positive and black one is negative. It has, it gives 5 volt output. It will also work with 12 volt battery or 9 volt battery. Now connect this uh, socket to the phone charger or to your laptop or any power source you want. Now, on turning the power on, it should make some very annoying noise. As you can see, it makes a very loud and disappointing noise. Now, if I remove the coil, as you can see, the speaker starts to pop. And I'm connecting the coil again. It's, it works. So, if you are getting some difficulties during the build, you can always check in this manner. Now, and I have this piece of metal. And if I place it on the coil, then it should change the sound of the speaker. Now as you can see, it works. And it also works with some other type of metal, such as this is a brass, I think so. And it works. So, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my video. And stay tuned for other upcoming videos. Until then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.